So you're building a cyberpunk city and then all of a sudden it hits you. Wait a second. My streets are empty. Well, I'm here to fix that, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are talking vehicles, specifically service vehicles. Because normally what I would do is I would head over to Planet Minecraft to Captain Jack's page. I would scroll down, find whatever modern version of what it is that I'm looking for is there. And then I take it into a test world and I'd cyberpunkificate it. But today I have decided to come at you guys with a little bit something different. Captain Jack and I have been getting together for the last couple of weeks and creating a few service vehicles for you guys to enjoy. All right, and first up today we have a taxi. If you guys can recognize where this is from, this is from Fifth Element. This is the taxi that Bruce Willis was driving when uh, Lilu went and fell through the roof. Uh, Lilu, big bada boom. You guys remember that? And uh, yeah, this is pretty much the whole taxi. It's as close to a recreation as we could get. We have the boosters in the back here with some custom heads, but you could just use some wither skeleton skulls if you felt like it. It is a flying car. Some of these will be flying, some of these will be driving. It has the glow signs for lights in the front, as well as some lights in the back. And then it also has some uh, pointy bits here at the back, which we try to recreate as best as possible. Now, obviously the birch slabs and stairs are not exactly ideal for making something yellow. And that's just one of those things that you have to deal with when making cars, is that you, you need slabs and stairs to be able to make certain uh, shapes. And there isn't really a good yellow option. Endstone doesn't really work very well. So what I would suggest, because we were trying to keep this true to its original form, but you guys can always just make some black caps, like the London black caps, right? And then use deep slate and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, play around with that one. Next up, we have a ground vehicle and we're moving on to trucks. So this one is from an animated uh, movie, I believe, called Blade Runner Blackout, right? Uh, Jack brought this design to my attention and we thought that it looked very interesting and different to your regular uh, truck designs. So we ended up making a really bright red truck like this. And uh, it's it's a, it's a weird one. It really is, it kind of looks a bit crabby and we actually have another crab over there, but we'll get to that in a minute. Again, there's the lights. We also have some banners here with some caution tape. It doesn't have a trailer, but I mean, you could use your imagination and add a trailer to that, no problem. All in all, the reason we picked this one was because it had a very interesting shape and it's felt like something that was a little bit more cyberpunky. I mean, it's taken out of a cyberpunk movie, but you guys know what I mean. Like, it's not conventional. Also, the uh, diagonal windows is a hard one to do in Minecraft, so stairs is usually a good option. And normally I would be against it in modern vehicles because let's face it, who, who can, you can't look through solid blocks, right? You need glass there. But in a cyberpunk setting, this actually makes total sense because a lot of cars in cyberpunk will just have heads up displays on the inside and you wouldn't actually have windows to begin with. And moving on to the next truck, and this one's probably in my top three for today is a big blue semi truck and this one kind of gives me optimus prime vibes um i don't know about you guys but it definitely does for me so it has some rocket boosters up at the front here right and another set of them at the back this is a flying truck it also has some propulsion mechanisms here um that we tried to make with some signs there's also some more there this will keep it stable and then it's got some lights up at the top and all sorts of little details. And I just love the way that this truck came out. Again, no trailer, but you know, again, use your imagination. It's uh, it's pretty straightforward for a trailer after you've done this. You can then just copy over any kind of um, whatever hover tech you decide to pick from any of these designs. You could use that for the trailer as well. So yeah, that's uh, that's the Optimus Punk. Next one down the line is a trash truck from Ghost in a Shell. Uh, we went for full copper design on this one because it gave us the right kind of color scheme, first of all, um, true to its original form. And also it gave us the ability to make certain bits a little more uh, dirty, right? It has a little bit of a section at the back here that the, the trash collectors would stand on. 
um, if they needed to do anything. And then we have some kelp and debris in here for trash. Now, I don't suggest that you go using ancient debris as trash, but I know a couple of people, like for instance, the lag monster on Random Craft, who could definitely do with uh, using some ancient debris for decorations because the guy's super rich. But yeah, again, we have some signs here and this time we have an actual written out sign. So this one has a seven and a nine for the trash, the, the truck number. And if you guys actually want to know how I write this, because there will be more of these signs in the rest of the video, I actually just use the solid square emoji for the squares and two spaces on the space bar for the gaps in between. And using that combination, you can write as if you were writing just with regular solid blocks in Minecraft. And I use a slightly modified version of this four by three font for these signs. Next, we're moving on to the first of the Weewa wagons here in this section. We have an ambulance, right? So it's a really cool design. I actually do like, I think this is definitely in my top three. This is a hover van, this thing can fly. It has hover tech at the bottom, as you can see. It also has uh, an actual entrance that you can go into and go all the way through to the cockpit, which you can't really uh, access very well. But you know what, an attempt was made. Give me a break. You know, cars can only, you can only do so much on the inside. But I managed to actually get some chair, um, beds in here and a couple of uh, workbenches and things for the paramedics to work with. Um, it, it, all of these ones use uh, custom heads for the sirens. But as an alternative, you could also just have... Okay, that's not going to work. Um, but you guys get the idea, right? You could have that instead of... Uh, the custom heads but if you have access to it go for it it really makes a big difference to vehicles we also have some custom heads at the front here for headlights and then we have some signage around the side glow signs and some banners and all in all this is a really sweet design i actually love the way that this came out the next weewa is a really weird one <laughs> i i honestly i'm not even sure where this concept came from jack just showed me a picture and then we were like yeah that 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 one we want to build that one so this is a fire truck all right it is kind of floating in the back but it also kind of drags at the front so i don't know it's a bit of a mix match one right it has wheels in the front it has hover tech in the back in this case i am actually using the ender hover tech from end corp i i guess it is <laughs> and then we have the uh, the big hose up at the top here with the Willis Skeleton Skull as the nozzle. I really like the shape of this. I think it came out super good looking. And then all in all, just a whole bunch of details. Yeah, so this is all of the, the details for this one. It's also got some roof details on the tank. So yeah, the whole thing in the back is a tank. And then this crab thing up at the front here actually drags the whole thing along. And that is the fire truck. All right, and then no dystopian city would be complete without a security force. So we got ourselves some police stuff over here, right? First one, I need to give a shout out to one of our fantastic viewers, Monty, who sent me this wonderful design on Discord while, uh, while we were building all of these on a live stream. So I recreated it. It's based off of the Snow Fox from Subnautica Below Zero, which is another one of my favorite games. And I really loved the design. So I've added this sign here at the back said made by Monty. So when you guys download this and yes, there's a download for this, um, you will be able to recreate this. And remember, Monty is the one who designed this. It's a it's a really cool looking hover bike for the police force. And then we have a police spinner based off of the Blade Runner cars. If you guys have ever seen Blade Runner, then this is the sort of uh, car shape that they have for the hover cars, especially for the police force. And uh, yeah, again, it uses the, the custom heads and everything, but remember what I said about the replacement blocks. And then we have a Militech van here from Cyberpunk 2077. And as you can see, here's a very good example of how to use the squares and the uh, the, the the spaces like i said right so okay some of these i did go five by four some i went um four by four some three by four but you know it, it depends on what kind of look you're going for depends on the spacing and everything but i think that that sign looks 
pretty accurate to what it's supposed to be if you guys have ever seen what a Militech truck looks like. It also uses, like a lot of the other cars, some shulker boxes for details. And I forgot to mention this before, but if you've watched this far and you were like, dude, shulker boxes are really expensive. What do you want me to do with that? Like, just, I mean, you can build a farm for it, first of all. But also, uh, if you don't, uh, I, I broke one. And there's more inside too. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, you could, you could, you don't have to use it. You could use anything else, uh, like some deep slate or something. But it gave, gives a really nice uh, separation. So think of this as the top side here goes up, the bottom side goes down, and this thing opens up. So yeah, that is the Militech truck. It also has some fuel tanks at the bottom here with some more shulker boxes. This thing's very shulker heavy. There is an interior with some uh, benches for the security forces to sit on and some storage for their weapons and everything as well. And that is the security collection. Now I've covered this before in a video and I stick with it as always. Whimsy is very important. You need to have fun with what it is that you're building. And here, instead of just building a regular flying shuttle bus, I started off with the design of making like a, a proper yellow school bus, like an American style school bus. And in this case, I was actually using endstone as yellow slabs just to show that it can work. And in this case, it works a little bit better than it would have with the taxi because of the black. It works a little bit better with the black, right? But I started off with a regular uh, American school bus design. And then I sort of stood back and I thought to myself, you know what? This kind of looks like the, the magic school bus, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So uh, I, I slapped some wings on it, right? Um, and it's also got a big thruster at the back here. It's got some hover tech at the bottom, so this thing can fly nice and proper. And it's got the wahoo sign up at the front. Um, all in all, I, I'm, I'm very pleased with how this one came out. I've also added some green light here and some red light here, because usually when it comes to things with wings um, and ships and stuff like that, you would need a starboard and a port light um, to, to differentiate at long distances which way this thing is uh, heading right it also has a machine gun up at the front because you know gotta keep the kids safe in this cyberpunk dystopia <coughs> cop and then finally we get to the big boy the monorail that we designed for our cyberpunk city now think of it this way right a lot of these are down in the muck um but the monorail is lifted up a little bit right it's more for the middle class to high class to travel around in short bursts. So this uh, car is a lot more white and clean. It does have some dirtier patches, but all in all, it is pretty white. It also has some of the neon signs that are blackened out to show that some of the lights are a little bit broken, right? It also has some scrapers up at the front here to make sure that things stay out of its way. And uh, you can actually go inside this one. And it has some benches in the front here. It also has a cockpit if you want to go in there. I forgot to put a button, but ah oh well. And yeah, benches. It also has the scrolly signs inside saying where this train is going, what's the next stop. It also has those on the outside and the, on the front as well. And you can go all the way through this and it will have another pool car at the front here, right? So you can separate this again, shulker boxes, because it's the closest thing to looking like a accordion as we could possibly get to make it look like this can actually bend when it goes around corners. It has the tracks in the middle here with some anvils um, and trap doors. And you have the rail here that looks nice and scraped like it's had a lot of traffic, right? The nice thing about these are that uh, you can actually put them either with the rail at the bottom like a regular monorail would or you could have it hanging and then actually have a surface on top to work with so in this case um, something that i'm definitely going to do when i create my next cyberpunk city is i'm going to have my monorails underneath some of the higher level roads so the, the, the people on the ground floor are driving on regular roads, but obviously the people living a little bit higher up, like we did with the uh, apartments, remember the, the low class at the bottom, 
and then middle class there and then the upper class there so everyone that is driving above street level is going to be driving on these roads and then there's going to be monorail systems all around underneath them as a way to save space because space is very important in a cyberpunk city and having a design like this can really sell the idea that you have space limitations. So always bear that sort of stuff in mind. And that's gonna do it for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please do leave it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, watch this video so you can build better roads for all of these vehicles to go on.